The 2020 iPhone could look a little bit retro and a little bit future. We have some fresh iPhone 12 renders to share, plus Apple's AR glasses are coming into focus. Let's get straight down to business with all the latest news and rumors on the Apple Core. With the iPhone 11 launch well and truly in the rearview mirror, it's time to start speculating about what we're going to see on the next iPhone. Phone Arena put all the leaks together and came up with some pretty intriguing renders. Let's recap some of the basics about what we're expecting on the 2020 phones. 5G, 120Hz refresh rates, a time of flight camera, plus an entirely new design. The notch itself might even become a little bit smaller. On these renders, you'll notice the rounded corners we know from iPhones now are all but gone, and instead it could look more like the iPhone 4 and 5 from years past. Those flat edges and sharper lines hark back to what many people consider to be Apple's best iPhone design, me included. It wouldn't be a complete surprise if Apple decides to go back to this look. After all, just remember what the iPad Pro looks like now. The MacBook has also started to move in this direction, especially if you take a look at the Pro with some slightly boxier curves. As for the notch, well, at this stage, it seems likely it will still be there on the 2020 iPhones, but these renders make it look a lot smaller and less obtrusive. Let's talk about the camera because that's where the real excitement is, at least for me. After moving to the three camera array this year with an ultra wide, wide and telephoto around the back, the next step is to add a time of flight camera. Lots of other phones have this, like the Galaxy Note 10, and what it does is help capture depth information. This could do a number of different things, like help with AR mapping, but it could also mean that we finally get the ability to do portrait mode in video, fingers crossed. The renders show a four camera array with all the lenses being around the same size, but going off how other manufacturers do it, I'd expect it to be quite a bit smaller than what this image shows. These renders also only show the two standard Apple colors of space gray and silver, but I'm sure there will be a special color just like this year's midnight green. This week, we're also hearing more about Apple's long awaited AR glasses. As a quick refresh, we first heard that Apple was working on some sort of headset or glasses back in 2018. Early reports said the glasses would have 8K displays to be able to do both AR and VR, and no exterior sensors needed for tracking and positioning. Then we heard the first generation glasses could use the iPhone as its main brain to overlay text, games, maps, and more on your field of vision. This means the glasses would be a lot lighter and less ugly than other headsets. I mean, really, would Apple ever design anything that looks like the Magic Leap or HoloLens? Apple also has a track record of some first generation products offloading most of the processing to the iPhone, such as the first Apple Watch. But eventually the glasses could stand on their own and not need a phone to run. Renowned Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo has said Apple will partner with another company to bring the technology to market. And this week, DigiTimes via Mac Rumors reports that Apple's partnering with game developer Valve. You might know Valve as the company behind Steam. It already has a VR headset of its own called the Index, which was released earlier this year. Now, if the rumors are true, this wouldn't be a new partnership. Apple and Valve have worked together to bring VR support to macOS High Sierra in 2017. So far, we don't have any idea about what these glasses will actually look like. Some renders by Mac rumors picture them looking more like 3D glasses you'd get at the cinema, while others are pictured more like actual glasses. Maybe they'll look more like Amazon's Echo Frames or even Snap Spectacles. Okay, so while you might not be excited about AR glasses now, analysts are predicting that by 2023, the demand will be huge, shipments of 75 million units worldwide. So when will these Apple glasses see the light of day? It's looking like the second quarter of 2020, so I wouldn't be surprised if they were ready in time for a reveal at the iPhone 12 launch event. Apple TV Plus is finally available across iOS, Apple TV, Mac, the web, even some Fire TV and Roku devices. The streaming service only has nine shows available right now, but many more will be released over the coming months. So it doesn't win on catalog compared to Netflix, Prime, Hulu, and of course, Disney Plus, which is launching very soon. But even without lots of titles under its belt, TV Plus may still pull ahead for sheer numbers. 
After all, it's free for the first year if you've bought an eligible Apple device. And shows on TV Plus have the highest quality of any streaming service in 4K, according to a forum post reported by 9to5Mac. Shows like C have been averaging around 29 megabits per second and peaking at 41 megabits per second when streaming over an Apple TV 4K box. Needless to say, I hope you have unlimited data. Apple TV Plus does automatically adjust depending on the available bandwidth, but unlike Netflix, for example, there's no way to manually select your streaming rate for now. That's all for this week's show. Let me know what you think the iPhone 12 will look like, and I'll read your comments in next week's episode.